Hi everybody, Mr. Nickel here. So today what I'm going to be showing you how to do is I'm going to show you how to create molecules, how to create organic compounds using Sigma Aldrich's Molecule Maker program. Now the main purpose of this program um, from Sigma Aldrich is that it's actually a substructure search. So you draw something in this little area here and then you hit the search button down here and what it'll do is it'll go through its all of the options that it has uh, for certain molecules that you can purchase, organic chemicals, acids that you can buy from Sigma Aldrich and it'll search its database against your drawing that you've created and see if it can find something similar or with a similar function to that. For our purposes, what it's good for is it's nice for drawing really nice colored label diagrams that make nice organic compounds. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna draw a five carbon molecule. And so what I'm gonna do here is here in this section, you can click carbon. You also have the option of a number of um, more naturally occurring organic elements as well. And then if you need something from the periodic table, you can click this little PT button and you can pick any of these items here. The R's up here uh, would represent just uh, some unknown number of carbons. So on things like fatty acids or lipids, we would use an R to say that this might have 25 carbons, it might have 27. That was part of what I did with my honors project was I had to use that R to represent a number of different things. But right now what we're gonna start off with is we're gonna draw our carbon right there. Now, normally you could draw carbons like this, but those are gonna be really hard to link up using this bond function here. So I'm gonna erase these other two carbons. And what we're gonna do is rather than drawing all the carbons, we're just gonna actually draw a single bond from that. And what this has done is now there are two carbons. So you can see, you can edit this part here, highlight in green, that's a carbon. You can edit this part here, which is another carbon. So we have two carbons. The last thing that you can edit is this part right here. You can edit uh, the type of bond that it is. So if I click this little down arrow here, let's change this one to a double bond between two carbons. And so what that'll do is if I click right in the middle, now we have a double bond between those two carbons. I said we wanted to make a five carbon molecule, so let's do that next. We're gonna draw another carbon there, another carbon there, and another carbon there. So you can see we have one, two, three, four, five ends of our stick or our skeleton diagram, and those represent the carbons. Now let's do, uh, let's do an, an up or a wedge bond. And so as we talked about this unit, these bonds mean that when I click here, this means that this would actually be coming towards you. And so elements and molecules don't exist in 2D, they exist in 3D. And so that's why we use these to kind of describe how certain things are um, facing towards you or facing away from you. So for example, uh, let's say I wanted to add a, a bromine right up on this carbon right here. So right now this is another carbon that's been added on. But if I click this down arrow here and I click bromine, I can click up here and say that this is now a bromine attached to a carbon. And let's say I want to make that facing away from me. I would click the down, this dashed line, and click right in the middle. So you can see I can click on the bromine, the carbon. Let's click on the actual bond itself. And so now you can see that if you were looking at this molecule in three dimensions, this first on the right hand side, that wedge bond would be coming towards you and the bromine would be going away from you. So this is how you design organic molecules. You can erase, you can undo certain things. So if I wanted to undo that bond that we just made, there you go, now it's back to a normal bond. You can add things like benzene, hexane, and pentane rings. We're gonna talk about that in subsequent lessons. If you need to add text as well, if you want to describe something, you can do that. You can add shapes, you can add charges. So let's say that this bromine had a negative charge on it, which would mean that it was, un it was unstable. But for our purposes now, we've shown that we have a bromine with a negative charge. I can center this as well, so move this into the actual center of the box so that I have more space to work. The last thing that you can do is this reaction part here where you can actually design a reaction and try to figure out what the products will be using um, Sigma Aldrich's substructure, substructure search. The last thing that we're gonna do uh, to get our image imported into uh, a document of some sort is we're gonna screenshot it. So you can either click the print screen button, which is usually in the top upper right hand corner of your keyboard. I use OneNote, so I'm gonna use OneNote's functionality down here where it says take a screen clipping. So I'm gonna do that. And then it's gonna give me the option of drawing a box over this. And the print screen option should also give you this. And when I let go of my mouse, it sends it to OneNote right away. And then I'm gonna right click on that, click save as, and then I'm gonna save it as a picture. And so that's how you uh, create molecules on Sigma Aldrich's Molecule Maker. As you can see with the bromine, it had a nice color added to it. You can see the other molecules that I've made up here as well for the purposes of this assignment. 
And it's a really nice, easy way to identify different functional groups, uh, oxygens versus carbons and hydrogens. And hopefully this is helpful in your quiz that is happening at the end of this lesson. Talk to you all later.